Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Jess and I'm a stay-at-home mom of two. Today I have a fun little breakfast I made for the boys. We also did some baking, which may or may not have been a fail. And the boys also helped make dinner tonight. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, don't forget to hit that like button and let's get to it. So a couple of times I've bought the boys these baby bananas and they were loving them and just chowing them down within a day. And then the last time I bought them, they barely ate them, so they started to go bad. You know how kids are. They totally love something and then they forget about it, so it just goes bad on the counter. But I decided to use them up and make some banana pancakes this morning. And then I remembered that recently Adam had made them pancake muffins and they totally love those, so I decided to make a banana version. So I just threw a couple of these little baby bananas into a bowl and got them mushed up. Into the bowl I also added a little bit of pancake mix and some water. This was the complete mix that you just have to add water to. And I just made it a little thicker than I would pancakes. I got that all mixed up and put it into a sprayed muffin tin. And I was texting Adam while he was at work to try to see what he cooked these at, and he says 400 for 12 minutes. But I looked online to see a few variations, and I decided on 350 for 15 minutes, and that worked just as well. So it's up to you. You try whichever you want, because I don't know which one is actually better. But probably Adam's. So 400 for 12 minutes. And for breakfast for myself, I just made an English muffin with some sausage, egg, and cheese, and some ketchup for dipping. Cookies! Yay! Yay! Which is kind of sad looking because it only fills up half the box. We have a icing piper. Icing piper. I see a triangle. Our cookie cutter. Wow. Cookie cutter. What's that? Sugar. Cookie mix. Cookie mix. And icing. Icing. And icing. All right. So I get to go. Preheat oven to 350. We did that. Combine cookie mix, butter, and egg. So, Tap it gently on the counter. A little harder. There you go. Did it crack? Hmm? Did it crack? Oh, hell. Hold it. No. Hold it like I'm holding. Now no. split it. Don't squeeze. There you go. <laughs> Got it. No, I never seen it. Now rinse your hands off. Now what am I supposed to do? Put the butter in the bowl. Yeah, the big bowl. I guess I jumped it well, in there. Here, do you well, know? I guess I have water. Scrape in it. it in. I guess I have water in it too? Or egg juice? It's the egg white. Get it all out of there, baby. Scrape it out. Okay, and then put Whoa. the egg in. You got it? Let me put the egg in the bowl. And I lost the sauce. Don't spill it. Over the bowl. <laughs> All of it. And then mommy's doing the cookie mix. I'm and then we the cookie mix too. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yes, we lost her. And now <coughs> mix. You oh, can do the dough, couple. So mix the wicks. You Gently the take turns. Mm. 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 Mm.
smells like chocolate milk. Doesn't it, Mom? How'd you get butter way up there, son? It smells like chocolate milk. Break the egg up. Okay, I need one to mix it. You gotta get all the butter and egg mixed in, but don't go too fast or it's gonna fly everywhere. I'm gonna mix it. Yeah, you're doing it, Dora. Well, it's nice and sticky. All right, get it all mixed up good. So I recently showed you guys when I bought this cookie kit from Walmart. It was in the last video or the one before. I can't remember which. But the boys were so excited to make these so we decided to give them a try. And I was a little disappointed when I opened the box actually because there was barely any cookie mix. It didn't make much dough. So if it had actually made the sandwich cookies it might have made like six if I was lucky. But I think it was the cookie cutter's fault. I don't know, everything just kept getting stuck in it and I tried flour like the box said and nothing worked. So we couldn't cut out the faces. So we just made some pumpkin shapes and cooked those. And those turned out okay. We had pumpkin shaped cookies and I just let the boys decorate them however they wanted. So they were totally fine with it. They had fun and they said they tasted good. So that's really all that matters. Since the cookies didn't work out, the boys wanted to help at dinner on this night and we're making some red beans and rice with andouille sausage. I've made this before and it's super delicious, like this is one of our favorite meals ever. But in this video, I was too worried about, you know, watching the boys and helping them and doing what they were doing and I didn't show you the ingredients. So. I'll put the ingredients on the screen and also down in the description box and I'm going to link a video down below where we've made this before. It's super easy and it's a family favorite and we all enjoy it and I hope you guys do too and I hope you enjoy watching the boys cook. So we tried out their little knife from the baking kit that one of you sent us and it was working okay 
but we were kind of in a hurry. We were late for dinner, so we decided to let them try out a real knife. Now, don't panic. We had a hold of their hands the entire time. Nobody got hurt. All the fingers were safe. But, you know, they gotta learn sometime. If they're gonna be expert chefs like Dad, they were well supervised and they had fun learning how to use a knife. So into our pan we added a couple tablespoons of butter and our sliced up sausage along with some minced garlic and then we're going to add in a whole bunch of seasonings and these will be down in the description box and we'll just get that sausage browned up on both sides. Daddy measure, don't you? Yeah. Okay, good job. It's good. It's good. Don't touch the pan. Keep your hand away from the pan. Alright, what am I missing? Tony's. Hold the handle. What am I going to do? Now, we need a cup of rice. Oh, I'm going to do that. And then I'll store it. Knock it off. Hold on, we gotta let the rice toast for a little bit. Get it all coated in the butter and stuff. Why are you making that? Biscuits. Mm. If you hold it like this, it's easier then. Uh, mm, can I do the beans next? Mm. I love beans. Whoa, well, keep it in the pan. Okay. Here. Hold on. Get it. You take this. Mom, you, you have to pour it over, see, this edge has to be over the pan or it's going to spill out. You got it? Got it. Do you really? Because I'm holding all the weight. Yeah, yeah, you better help. <laughs> okay. Open door. And Tucker, pour the beans in. Don't splash and don't touch the pan. Once we had our rice all toasted and our broth added in and our beans, we just let this come up to a high simmer, put a lid on and let it cook for about 15 minutes until the rice was cooked and we had a super delicious dinner. Adam also made a batch of cheddar garlic biscuits which I make all the time and I'll leave the recipe down below that I usually use. 
I'm not sure what recipe he used, but it made a ton of biscuits. Not that we were complaining, because the boys love these things. And these go perfect with the red beans and rice. What do you think about your recipe? It's good. Mm. Yummy? I give it most of it anything. Because you made it? Did you forget to put ice in it? It's not soup. I'm not going to put ice in it. It's really beans and rice, dude. Y'all did a good job. Thanks. Yeah. I really like the way you cut these sausages. We made it especially <laughs> for you. No, oh, thank you. you well, did you know what I like in Dewey's sausage? I did a lot. So the boys had so much fun helping with dinner tonight, and we did too, because they don't want to help that often anymore. But they had a ton of fun. And dinner turned out delicious, and they loved eating something that they helped to make. I know it was a little bit different because I didn't even show what we were using. I, it just totally slipped my mind. I was trying to avoid cut-off fingers and things like that. So. But the recipe will be down in the description box, and I'll link a past video where we made something super similar. We just changed it up a little bit, but if you wanted to see the ingredients, the labels, all that kind of stuff. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, we would love for you to join our YouTube family. So hit that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications, and we'll see you guys in the next one.